Hi guys, my name is Steven, and welcome to video number 17 in my new series called Introduction to Code Igniter. What I'll be showing you guys in this uh, video is I'll be showing you uh, the contact page. We're going to be building the contact page, and I'll be showing you the ins and outs of the form helper. I won't show you all the functions, but I'll show you a, a good chunk of them and show you where to learn the rest. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is we'll go into our site controller. We'll actually create this function in the in the site controller Click function contact because it's the name of the page and actually we can just copy and paste this stuff and do like we've been doing so far let's change the content underscore about to content underscore contact as I'm sure you would imagine um, next thing we want to do is create, an, create that view so we'll go into the views, create a new file, call it content underscore contact PHP. Open it up, and we'll just copy and paste this basic stuff here. Uh, we'll paste it, and we can remove this stuff. Okay, so um, the first thing that we will do is we'll actually, uh, again, we'll open up our PHP tags. There we go. Uh, let me tab this in a bit. Okay. We will actually load the helper. So we'll go this load helper. And it's just the form helper. The reason we're actually doing it in the view, the reason we're loading the form helper in the view is because the form helper is only for this view. And it's actually very rare that we'll be, or we won't be using the form helper on say the other two pages so it would only make sense to load it in this one view while for example the URL helper and HTML helper we'd be using in all the views okay um, now the first function I want to show you or the first two is the form open and form close um, basically what we do is we go form underscore open and echo form close Um, one more thing we have to do is we actually have to specify in the opening um, the action uh, of where it'll be going. So in this case, we're actually going to create another function in the site controller called site, uh, send underscore email. So that's where uh, that's what's be do going to be. Uh, that's the location for where this form will be sending. That's what I'm trying to mumble out. Um, right on. So now if we actually save this, uh, we'll test and make sure our view is working. So we'll go to the contact page and undefined variable data. And that is because we're passing that data variable into the site, into the this view when there's no data variable actually made. So uh, we'll refresh this. And if we check out the page source, we can actually see, where'd that go? <clears throat> we can go, uh, Here's that form action, and it's actually showing the URL. It's taking um, this from the base URL, and this from what we specified when we pa what we passed in the function. The method it all is always post, um, and then also it closes the form. That's that close form, and then this is the rest of our views. So that close form is when you go underscore form underscore close. That that's where that function is. Okay. Um, the next thing is we'll actually do like a say a label and an input. So we'll go back into the content underscore contact. We put this in between, as I'm sure you would imagine. So we'll do like echo form underscore label. And this uh, the form label uh, function. It receives two parameters. The first is the um, what is actually displayed, like what's in between the label tags. So in this case, it would be, um, say, first name or just name, and then a space. Um, and then the second parameter it takes is the actual um, what the first one is for. Like uh, in the label tag, there's a, a for attribute um, in the opening label tag, and that's what this, the second parameter is. 
So in this case, it would just be name. Um, or we'll say full name. Okay, now if we save that, you can actually, and then we'll refresh, check out the page source. So that, and then we'll refresh, check out the page source. There you can see now there's a label being outputted. The full name is that first, uh, is that second thing we're, put, we're passing in, the second parameter, and the first parameter go, is what goes in between the label tags, just like that. So uh, that's working. Next, we want, next thing we want to do, oh, and of course, you can see right here, it's actually showing up, which is perfect. The next thing we want to do is the form input. Form underscore input. Okay, now uh, the form input function actually receives one parameter, and that is a array. Um, what's in this array is we'll actually create that right now. Data is equal to array. And in here is all the attributes of this uh, form input. Form input uh, immediately specifies the type as text, and everything else we include in the array that we pass into the, into the function. So in this case, uh, the name of this text would be full name, the ID would be the exact same, just copy that and paste it because I am too lazy, and of course we're failing being lazy, so we'll have to do even more work, <laughs> and then the value, in this case we're just going to leave this blank. But we will come back to this, and I'll show you how to uh, how this is actually very useful. And we use another function with the with the uh, form validation library, but we're not there yet. So now, if we uh, refresh this or save it, and we'll go to our our contact view, save it, and there we go. We actually have our input, and we'll check out the page source. And now we have that input tag. Type is equal to text, name, full name, all these. Uh, the first, like I said, the type equals text is automatic in the, f in the form underscore, uh, form underscore input. And then the rest are the attributes that we specified in the array that we passed in called data. Okay, so the next thing we want to do um, is we'll do this for, like, say, the rest of the form. Um, we'll do like one more for the email address because we'll be needing that. So what I'm all I'm going to do is copy this and paste it. Uh, this one will be for email, and then the name will be copy this. This will be the name will be email. ID will be email. Value value will be blank for now. And that I'm sure you can imagine what it'll do. Um, the next thing we'll do will be the, the message. And for this one, we want to do a text field. So we'll echo form underscore text field. I'm sure you guys are catching on to how this thing works now. Um, and it actually works identically to how, uh, to how inputs work as well. Um, in this case, we will create another data array. We'll actually just copy this one. Because it'll be it'll work pretty much the exact same way, um, and we'll pass in data, and then the name will be message, ID will be message, and we also want a label for that too. So we'll just copy this one, put it right here, copy this again, and then message. So now if we save it and refresh our view, we have a problem. And uh, oh, of course, this is because text field should be text area. I've been saying text field. What we actually want is a text area, obviously. So we'll save this, refresh this, and there we go. We have our name, email, and message. Um, at this point, let's do some quick little styling. I figured out a trick before this to do 
the least amount of the least amount of uh, actual programming or styling just for the sake of shortness of this video. So we'll go into our styles here um, in the root application of our the root folder of, the, of our application. Go into the styles folder, styles.css, as we've set up earlier. Um, and we're actually going to create a new div specifier called contact. And it'll contain all of this, except for the width is going to be 170 instead of 1,000. And this is just like a quick little kind of, I'll show you. Um, we just need to make sure that up here, the div instead of content is contact. Save it, and then bam. Now it actually looks half decent. Um, okay, the next thing, <laughs> right, is the submit button. So we'll go back into our, con our contact view. And right before we close it, we want to do a form underscore submit, which is the last function I'll show you. This receives two parameters. Um, the first is the name of it, which will be contact contact submit, and the second is what's the actual uh, value in a in a submit tag. So, um, what what actually shows up on the button. So in this case, we'll just do send, save it, view it, and of course we have to echo that. And we have to spell echo right, save it, and there we go. Now we have our function, and it is even calling to the send email function in the site. If I click submit, you can see send underscore email. So that's where it's submitting the form to. And uh, I think that's it for this video. Next video, I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to actually validate um, this data sent to the uh, send email function. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.